Hi friends, this is Intel Configurations and uh, today we have a review of the device uh, LG L80 uh, which is a dual SIM device. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Mobile Stores for providing this uh, smartphone for review. So now let's go into the device and see what are the features of this device. So now let's uh, first see the external features. Now you can see this is a device and so it supports a fine display and you can see uh, uh, on the front panel you can see the display will be placed on the top side and you have a, a front camera here which is a, which is a VGA camera and uh, you have a couple of sensors on the top side and on the bottom side you have the full uh, capacity buttons uh, so that is a uh, standard for the LG devices and uh, when you turn the device to the right side you can see the unlock button in here and uh, on the on the bottom on the, on the top side you could see that a 3.5 module jack and uh, four more noise cancellation microphone so uh, and uh, on the left side you have the volume blockers and uh, uh, and the bottom side you have the USB 2.0 and uh, voice voice reception microphone. So uh, these are all the specs uh, from the external features of this device. And uh, when you turn the device back, you can see that it's a matte finish surface. Uh, it's plastic and uh, uh, it's not such a premium device. So uh, the LG has not provided a, a premium material, but it actually looks a little matte finish and it is a pretty uh, pretty grippy surface. So it doesn't catch much fingerprints. And uh, you can see this. Uh, bottom you can see the speaker grill and on the and you can see the LG logo here and the camera which is a 5 megapixel with LED flash so these are the these are the external features so now uh, let's turn on the device and see uh, what are the internal software features of the device so uh, the most important thing that I want to see is that this device is uh, having Android KitKat 4.4 so uh, that is the best biggest uh, feature of this device so now let's uh, turn on this device So now let's turn this device on. You can see the LG logo here. So uh, the specifications of this device, uh, it has a 8 GB of internal memory, 1 GB of RAM, and it uh, supports a 1.3 GHz uh, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 processor with Arduino 2 GPU. So uh, that will be a really nice configuration. So. Uh, let's hope that this device uh, performs really well in this review. So, so now this is the display of this device. As you can see it's very vibrant, and uh, I couldn't find any uh, what do you call it. Uh, I couldn't find any defect in this display. It's really nice, looking really nice and colorful. And uh, you see it's a fine display uh, with a pixel density of 187 ppi, and uh, screen resolution is up to 418 to 800 pixels. So. Uh, so now let's go into the basic, uh, basics of this device. So let's start with the dialer. So when you go into the dialer, you can see the KitKat dialer here, which is uh, looks really nice. And uh, you have the, all the options like uh, the contacts, favorites, group, all these things you can do. Just like the Angelivian version, but the themes and color themes are different. So uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, about the dialer. And let's go to the messaging and see the things in the message. So I'm going to take a message and. You see the dialer is almost uh, the, all the theme, the black and grey theme has been changed to uh, this color. This, the color theme is different from the Jelly Bean uh, OS and you can see this dialer is pretty nice. Uh, you can see the keypad is pretty nice and uh, we have all the options smiley and uh, all the options in there so there is no problem with that. So now let's go into the settings and see the portion of this device. I have already said that this device has a uh, Android KitKat. So Let's confirm it now so you can see the port phone and uh, you have uh, software information here and you could see that uh, the device is hanging 4.4.2 this is jelly bean version so uh, now, uh, net, now let's uh, go into the drop down menu of this device so uh, i must say that uh, this device has a pretty much different uh, what you call drop down menu and uh, they can see this chip memo in here which is a really nice uh, application developed by LG. When you tap on this device, you can see uh, this is a quick memo app. When you again, you just scribble whatever you want. If you are in a, uh, if you're in a car and you just want to note, note on something, you can just take this app and uh, note whatever you want, and you can place that in the home screen. So it will be remaining in there, so reminding you of that particular uh, whatever uh, function or something like uh, whatever, whatever it is. So that's a pretty nice app. If you don't want it, just click on this icon here and you can just go back to the app and you could actually exit it so uh, then it's go. Cool. so it's, uh, that's a really nice uh, 
customization done by the LG. And uh, now, uh, now let's see the Q slide, which is uh, another uh, good customization, just like the multi-window facility available in the Samsung devices. Uh, the LG has also implemented the same thing. That is, the Q slide is also just like a multi-window feature. So we'll be going into in, de in detail. So uh, let me take a video and just uh, play it out. So you can see the Q slide. When I just click on Q slide, you can see the video options, and uh, we can just go. You can see that I have taken a video here, and I can move it, and you can move it wherever you want. And also, you can just uh, adjust the transparency of the of the player so that you can read whatever is underneath it. So that's all a pretty nice uh, customization. And if you don't want it, you can just close it up from here itself. And if you want to expand uh, the player to bigger player, you can just click on the the, the expansion band. You can just go in the, uh, into the bigger player. So that's really nice customization. And you can see uh, I'm going to add another app here, and I'm going to add a. Uh, messaging or calendar into into this and you can see the calendar open apps so you can see that I am using two apps simultaneously so this is what is called uh, LG calls as Q slide so it is uh, basically the same as uh, the the multi window facility but it's a little, little bit different theme that's all so uh, I, I really like that feature in this device so that's all and that's another good thing so the rest of the things are similar to the other Android devices. We have a data connection, Wi-Fi rotation, uh, Bluetooth, hotspot, air, airplane mode. And this device supports actually uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi direct. All these features are supported by this device. So that's also a pretty nice uh, thing about this device. It's actually priced at about 15490 So uh, it's not much high price for this device. I feel it's really nicely done. So now we have seen uh, the multi window facility that is Q slide in this device. So now let's go into the gallery and and let, let's go into the gallery and take a picture and see how, how the device uh, performs uh, to the image viewing aspect and let's see the display quality of the device. So I'm going to take a HD picture here. So you can see the device is producing very vibrant colors uh, with a pretty nice uh, water viewing angles. Uh, it's really, really nicely done by LG and uh, when you zoom it out you can see it's silky smooth very responsive no delay so uh, the, the the quality of the the processor is very very evident from this thing there is no jitter lit, no, nothing is there it's pretty nicely done there is no jitter in this device it's very very nicely done and you could see that it's it's very silky smooth i can see so uh, the image aspect uh, is of the device is very nice the processor of the device is very much a able to do these things so that is a really nice thing so now let's play a video and uh, see how the device performs to that so i'm going to play a video as you can see i have uh, put two videos that is one is 180p and the other is 720p but as you can see uh, the 180p video is not supported by this device so that's a little disadvantage uh, but uh, you can see the there is not much buffering it's very smooth the video playback in 720p video is pretty nice. So, overall, the device uh, plays very really well. But I think uh, the, if you install any different player, you can I think you can uh, actually play the on ATP video. But in the default player, it's not supporting that. So uh, let's go back, and then now let's go into the another feature, which is the camera of this device, and see the camera customizations. So I'm gonna go into the camera. And you see, this is the camera of the interface of this device, and they say that it's having nine point focus. Uh, so that's another advantage on this camera. We have, uh, uh, we have, we can see this uh, options here, and you can see a lot of uh, different menus here. Which, uh, cheese shutter, uh, which is actually a great feature in this device. Uh, which is, uh, if you turn this feature on, you can just uh, capture image by saying cheese. You can see that it has taken uh, the the picture, so that uh, that is what is meant by the cheese shutter. And if you want it, you can just turn off. If you don't want it, you can just turn off, and uh, it won't be there. And you can see this uh, mid size up to two five nine zero, two five six zero, and one nine two zero is the maximum resolution possible in this device. And uh, uh, you have the white balance, color effect, timer, geo tagging, shutter sound. Uh, this is another interesting feature. This is a voice key feature is very interesting. So you can use the uh, voice key as a capturing uh, what you call hot key, that is a ca camera key. So if you turn this uh, settings on and off, you can just 
uh, use the camera key as zoom button or the capture button so that's a really nice customization done by LG so that's pretty nice so uh, that's all about the settings here and now let's uh, just take some pictures and see uh, what are the how fast the, the, the device can capture the picture and how well the device focuses onto it so you can also adjust the flash in here but we don't need flash now so I'm just going to take some pictures as quick as possible and see uh, how fast the device can uh, take pictures so really one two three start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now I have uh, taken about ten snaps and uh, now let's see how much uh, pictures that it is able to take so now let's see mm, that will show you how the device how much uh, fast the device can take pictures so you can see the images are not much focused you can see this, the images are focused pretty nicely and you can see one two three four five six seven eight so I have captured almost eight images uh, within that uh, that time so uh, that is pretty nice and now let's see the the zooming here you can see some images are not very really focused so some images are uh, not that much focused so the, the the device has some delay but uh, it actually has a pretty nice uh, focusing in some images but in some images uh, it's not so good so the camera aspect of the device uh, I can't say it's the best but it's nice that I, that was, I can say that mm, it's pretty nice and now let's uh, go into the front camera and see the quality of it you can see the front camera is a UGA camera so we can't expect uh, a much higher quality but still uh, the device has, has a pretty uh, no normal VG camera quality so uh, there's no problem in there and if you change the video mode you can you can have settings and you can see the maximum uh, what you call the resolution possible so uh, the device can capture the maximum resolution of 800 into 480 which is a WVG uh, resolution so that's it about the camera so uh, let's go back and uh, now let's uh, go into the some uh, interesting features of this device so this device has a very nice uh, customization done by uh, LG which is uh, that if you lock the device you can just uh, unlock the device by tapping double tapping into it and also you can if you want to lock the device you can just double tap again and the device get locked so uh, that's also another interesting feature so now uh, the, the, the device has a that is called the knock code or which is uh, the main marketing point of this device so the, the device comes with the knock code feature so now let's see what is the knock code feature so as I already said the knock code feature is a unique uh, what you call unlock locking of the device so uh, it's pretty nicely done so now let's go into the uh, settings and see how to activate it so you can see this is, uh, uh, this is the home let's go into the lock screen settings and you can see the lock. you have to select the lock method so you can cycle lock, uh, you can use knock code, and you can use uh, face and lock, all these things. So now we are we're gonna see the knock code, and here you can give the knock pattern that you want. So this is the four buttons, and you can just one, two, three, four. So I have used this is the my code, and if I tap like this, the device will be getting unlocked. So I have to make it confirm it. So I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna confirm. And uh, yes, I have, they are asking some pin in case uh, the device uh, is not able to unlock you can just uh, get into this device by tapping this uh, number if you, if you forgot uh, the, the tap code so now let's uh, see the demo of the knock code so you can see okay now uh, let's uh, see the knock code feature so I'm gonna uh, unlock the device so the device is unlocked so this is how the device uh, the unlock code works so it's really nicely done and uh, a very nice customization i would say and you can uh, deactivate it whenever you don't want it so you can just go into settings and you can just uh, deactivate it and you can just uh, do uh, set whatever lock code you want so that's again another interesting feature now we have seen almost all the default in inbuilt features of this device Okay, now let's go into the uh, settings and see uh, how much amount of ram is left with this device so as I already said this device comes on Android KitKat version so uh, let's see uh, what are the uh, what is the amount of memory left so as you can see the uh, the total available memory is about uh, 
1.50 GB uh, which is uh, available here general storage and uh, now let's see the RAM of this device how much RAM is left so as you can see the I'm going to take uh, the RAM of the device and you can see the out of 1 GB of RAM uh, 435 MB of RAM is left so uh, which is uh, not high uh, much higher but pretty nice uh, uh, custom uh, what you call RAM management is there so we can just close the, all the app and let's check it out once again and uh, make sure that uh, we don't make any mistakes so now let's uh, go into general and let's take app and you can see that running and you can see that uh, it, we are getting about 452 MB of RAM so that's the constant RAM that we are getting so we can uh, you can have about 458 MB of RAM free uh, in this device so uh, so now the next step is to go to the benchmarking and see how what the performance benchmarking scores of this device so now let's first run the Nina mark 2 benchmark which is uh, the graphic benchmark uh, for the Android devices so now let's run it I have already run this uh, benchmark on this device and got about 56 FPS which is a very nice uh, score out there so you can see the device is scoring approximately 60 FPS uh, in this uh, in this whole process and uh, it's getting uh, pretty nice uh, scores here so as you can see the device is getting about 57.3 fps uh, which is a very nice uh, score uh, as far as uh, this device is concerned it actually has a uh, 15490 is the price and you are getting such a good processor such a good gpu the device has a uh, 1.3 GHz uh, Cortex A7 that is a Snapdragon 200 processor with the Adreno 302 GPU so uh, that gives the device a very good processing power and the gaming performance so you can surely rely on this device for gaming performance so if you, if you really want a gaming device on the 15k this is a pretty nice option so now uh, I have get into the Android 2 benchmark and you can see the Android 2 scores are 10,625 and uh, you can see the detailed score here So you could see the details go here. You can see uh, RAM is 1,579, CPU is 1,689, and the CPU float is uh, 1,673. 2D graphics is 893. 3D graphics is 3,899. So a pretty nice uh, scores uh, scored by this device. So overall, this device is pretty nice for this price. As I have as already told you, this device runs on KitKat, and that is the latest version of Android and has a pretty nice features and customizations uh, by LG uh, now let's go into the music player and see uh, what is the customizations in there you can see the, this I have not put any uh, music files that's why it's not showing uh, but it's a KitKat uh, default KitKat uh, ver uh, version of uh, music player so uh, we have almost covered all the aspect of this device and I have shown you the interesting features like uh, no code and uh, uh, all that things in this device so uh, that's all about the LG L80 uh, smartphone and uh, thank you for watching this video and if you like this video hit like and stay subscribed. Thank you.